chat with documents application as the name suggests that the, lets the users ask questions to the documents what do i mean by documents here well documents basically can be anything from local files to website links to youtube video link to even github repository link so let me show you how it works and we'll discuss along the way so first of all we need to upload a document that is we need to upload our we can either upload documents and website links or even a youtube video or even a github repository so let's go on with documents and website links now we have two options here we can either use local files or accessible website links let's start with the local files first we upload any file let's say we upload a dummy invoice it will process the file and we can even see the logs once the file is processed we see a done here to make sure that the pre-processing step was completed so now if we ask what is the amount due in this invoice it will understand the context of that uh, invoice and will give will generate a response so the total amount owed for this invoice is dollar 93.50 as you can see, we just uploaded the document and it gave the response automatically after processing the document. Now, we can even cite the sources from the documents which the AI uses to answer the question. So, we have two options here to either cite the sources or no. By default, it won't cite the sources from the document, but if we do it a yes here and then we run it again, it will probably uh, use this source as the information for the response as you can see it writes this information can be found in the invoice under the total column which states total dollar 93.50 so this is how it works for documents and in such a way we can even do this for accessible website links we can also provide a link here as you can see we can paste the accessible website link here and it will uh, generate a response in that let's uh, give it the open fabric ai website and it will it should scrape the information from this website and the sub pages from the website so once we save the configuration and check the logs we would see that uh, it extracted the information and then we can ask the question like who is henry tara and it should correctly answer that he is the CEO of Open Fabric from the information that we just provided from the link. So as you can see, it suggested here that he's a citizen entrepreneur and he is the founder and CEO of Open Fabric AI, a platform designed to revolutionize the way innovators, data providers, businesses, and infrastructure providers collaborate. So as you can see, this application was able to get all the information from just one link and was able to answer the question that the user asks so this was for the accessible website links along with this we can also use youtube videos as a document so we can select an option of a youtube video and then we can paste the youtube video link here so for example if i have this link which i'll paste right here it will again process the information and then we can say what is this video talking about and it should correctly give the answer by uh, correctly getting the context from the video the subject or topic being discussed in this video is the comparison analysis of google's latest model gamma with other models like lama 2 and mr in terms of performance benchmarks and their potential for use in various applications so as you can see it correctly gave the information since here is the title of the video you can see you can verify it and this was for the youtube video and we can also give it a github repository which with code in it and it can correctly understand the repository so if for example we give it the url of this repository and paste it here and save the configuration it will pre-process the url and then we can ask what is this repository about 
The main subject of focus in this repository is the development of the Mean Jupyter library, which is a small and lightweight implementation of the Transformers language model.